How's everyone doing? This is going to be just a random collector's edition video. I've done a couple of these videos in the past. You guys seem to like it, so why not do another one? I just went through a box and found a bunch of <clears throat> different collector's editions, and I figured I'd go ahead and show them to you. Some of them I don't know if I've ever shown before. Like, first up is The Mist. This is a German edition right here. It has, like, the lenticular cover right there on the front. It's a nice box set. You can see the bloody hand. But I thought this was a cool special edition. Um, it just has that cover right there, lenticular, and then you have the, like a digipack set in there as well. Three disc collector's edition, which is a, it's a nice set. Um, I had it basically for display purposes. I do enjoy the movie, although I think I'm like the only person ever who didn't love the ending. I kind of saw what was going to happen. Uh, I saw that coming. I was like, ah, but I love the rest of the movie, really creepy movie. And I think the set just looks really cool on display right there. You can see the creature kind of in the back too. I don't know if you can see the bloody handprint or not, but really cool looking addition. I've had it in my collection for a while and I don't know if I've ever showed it. Next up is Animal House. I love this edition, uh, the Fraternity House 30th Anniversary Edition, like in the shape of that. And then inside you've got a, a big booklet. Um, yeah, you, get, you got the yearbook which I think is pretty cool. Then you got the 30th anniversary DVD, uh, being directed by Jonathan Landis. Classic college comedy movie, great cast in here. Uh, just phenomenal. Donald Sutherland on the back. Uh, Belushi right there too. Um, this was an early um, uh, a Footloose guy, um, Kevin Bacon, a <laughs> Footloose guy. But yeah, this had, a, a, like I said, uh, John Belushi's in here, great cast. Um, a whole bunch of recognizable people who went on to do other things. But I love this cool looking house set in the shape of that. Next up is Carriers. I believe this is a German edition as well. I think the Mist was a German edition too. A lot of these ones, again, uh, you have to have a region free player to play with it from other regions. Uh, but this is the three disc edition right here. Carriers, I think, is a super underrated horror movie. It's an infected movie, it has um, Piper Parabu, uh, Chris Pine, a few of the recognizable people in there. But a really creepy and uh, well done infected film. And it comes in this nice tin, which I've never opened because I think I had it in a box for a while. I should do an unboxing of it. It comes with like, you know, kind of stuff you need for an outbreak, uh, an epidemic, like a face mask, looks like a, like a water bottle thing, some gloves. And I just like the tin. It comes with a little, you know, carrier tin like that. So I dig that. Next up is The Mummy. Uh, collection right here. This is the Legacy Collection. I have another one of these myself. I had bought another one. I don't know what the deal was. I can't remember how long ago this was now. Um, I bought, I guess, one and then I bought another one. I think maybe one didn't show up and then uh, it finally did show up a long time later. But I did a full unboxing of this one. So if anybody wants this one, let me know. I'm willing to uh, sell it or even trade for it. That's a heavy set though. I'd, I'd say maybe six pounds or so. Uh, but yeah, it has the uh, it's the ultimate edition of The Mummy, which is a two-disc edition. They're all two-disc editions. Uh, the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor and The Mummy Returns right there. Really nice box set, and it's still sealed. Um, next up is E.T., which I believe I did an unboxing for this one, too. This is the giant uh, ultimate gift set edition right there, which I'm definitely looking to get rid of this one because it's banged up. And every I ordered this like four separate times. Each time it came banged up. Um, as you can see... Like right here, this little tab is like kind of broken up and there's bent damage and damage on the sides and stuff right there. But a really sweet addition opens up like that. Uh, has a ton of, has a big book in here as well right there. And again, I did a full unboxing for this one. It has a film cell. It uh, basically has everything that it shows right there on the back, but the hardcover book is really sweet. And this is a good display piece too. Again, it's a little beat up. But again, like I said, this one was like impossible to find, not beaten up. Uh, next up is The Basement. This is from Camp Motion Pictures. It's uh, five films on three DVDs, and it has uh, the, the movie The Basement, which is on VHS and DVD. It's uh, The Basement from 1989, Captives from 1987, Video Violence from 87, Video Violence 2 from 88, and Campbell Campout from 88 as well. So just a, a nice box set edition, again, uh, in comparison to... Uh, a DVD right here. You can see the size. It's like a big box VHS. And uh, I have not checked any of these ones out yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It looks super creepy. 
and awesome right there on the back. Next up is Teristas, which is, uh, I think, yeah, I believe this is German as well. This is a lenticular DVD steelbook, which looks awesome, uh, directed by uh, John Stockwell. And this, this was a decent movie. It wasn't great, but it was all right. But I love that cover. And next up is uh, Family Portraits, which I got this movie for uh, Cutting Moments. This is the uh, Trilogy of America from Douglas Buck. And I bought this off eBay because it said it was signed by the director. They only had a stock photo. They didn't have a photo of the actual autograph. And when it arrived, it was personalized to John. I'm not John. I'm Jay. <laughs> So I was annoyed by that, and uh, I never got my money back for it. But what can you? It was kind of one of those. What can you do? Like, this is like, I got this years ago off of eBay. Um, but yeah, cutting moments super creepy. I wish it wasn't personalized to John, but uh, definitely if you're into horror, I would recommend checking that one out. Next up is The Natural, which I haven't opened this set up either. Great classic sports film. Comes with a uh, signed baseball right here, uh, facsimile signature of Roy Hobbs and some baseball cards, and then a baseball hat as well. So I have other editions of this already. Uh, this is the director's cut. I'll do an unboxing video of this. A lot of these ones I meant to do unboxing videos of for like forever ago, and I just never did. Next up is the Ed Wood box set, which has Glenn or Glinda, Jail Bait, Bride of the Monster, Plan 9 from Outer Space, Night of the Ghouls, and the Haunted World of Ed, Edward D. Wood Jr. right there. And they all have their regular cases like that, DVD cases. So, nice box set with the pink. I think the VHS, uh, there's a VHS Ed Wood set that had like pink fuzz on it. So, I do like the look of that set. Uh, next up is The Wicker Man, which was a, it's a wooden DVD box set from Anchor Bay, back when Anchor Bay was the king of horror. Uh, this was limited to 50,000, super limited. <laughs> But I remember I got this for super cheap. I got it for like eight bucks at the time. And this is when this was going for like 35 bucks or something. I have no idea what it goes for now. But here's one thing about this. I don't remember this having the line all the way down through here. I don't know if it's just over years, the wood expanding, but I maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe it always had that, but I don't remember it being there. But who knows, maybe it was. But I, I used to love these Anchor Bay. There's the 10 sets. And then, you know, you got this in here and it comes in like the CD jewel case. But it was just super cool uh, early on collector days for DVD when you saw something unique, especially like this with the wooden box. So there's the Wicker Man. Next up from Pizza Hut, still sealed, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And there's a few other ones too. Um, I can't remember. There's one, uh, was it not Vegas Vacation, something Honeymoon in Vegas, I believe. Um, but yeah, this this is one of the ones right here from Pizza Hut. If you ordered it, you could get a little DVD. Next up is, I this is from the, the Z-Pack from Zavi, uh, I believe. This was Zombies, A Living History from uh, the History Channel. And I think that's the case because there's like green sticky stuff in the back. And Z-Pack for a while put like candy in some of their packs. And I think it was like the second pack I got from them. Whatever liquid candy it had, had came out and got all over everything and kind of ruined everything in that box, which was a big bummer. Uh, but I like what they're trying to do. Next up is the Edward Scissorhands 10. This is the anniversary edition. 10 has a big dent right there in the back, if you can see that, which is a bummer, but really nice embossing. And inside, you've got some collectible movie stills and then the DVD with a nice slip cover and a little sticker that just came out that I kept from uh, the packaging right there. Includes six photos from the original movie set. And this little still, I'm not going to open up and do this, show the stills. A lot of this stuff I think I'm going to get rid of though, like this 10, because I have a steel book of this already. <clears throat> this one I'm going to get rid of too, Cop Out, which I won in a contest and signed by Kevin Smith. Um, I hated this movie. I love the concept, but the cast chemistry was terrible from Bruce Willis, who I heard is a diva. He had a big problem, I guess, with Kevin Smith too. And uh, <clears throat> it seemed like he didn't want to do the movie at all. And then, of course, Tracy Morgan here. They just did not work together. I love the concept, though. And, yeah, so this is signed up by Kevin Smith, if anybody's interested in that. If anybody's interested in this one, too. Pretty much everything in this video, I think, except for, I don't know, pretty, I'm pretty much open to it. If anybody wants to do trades or wants to buy some of this stuff off me, definitely let me know. This is a French version of the Incredible Hulk, still sealed. The one with uh, Edward Norton, Liv Tyler, Tim Roth, and William Hurt. Really cool lenticular cover for the slipcase. So that's that. And again, you have to have a region free player for any of these ones. Like this is the UK one. This is the AI Digipack edition, which I think looks awesome. 
And I do have this edition, or uh, not this edition, but uh, this on other, on Blu-ray, so another release. And it has interior artwork behind the discs too. So again, really cool looking that I kept for a while, but I just have so many different editions of these, I don't need to keep it. If anybody's interested, let me know. Uh, next up is The Hustler, with a, which is a DVD steelbook from the UK, Paul Newman, Jackie Gleason, classic right there. The Color of Money, I actually did enjoy, but I thought um, Paul Newman, that was like a makeup Oscar for him. But a nice looking steelbook, and these were these, um, what was the, the Cinema Reserve steelbooks, which were really nice back in the day. And you know, it comes with like a little billiards uh, thing right there, and the discs too, and uh, is there, yeah, there's interior artwork too, which is just, again, like the title and stuff, but this is old school DVD collector's items right here, and uh, next up is the Day After Tomorrow DVD Steelbook, which um, it looks like it's getting a little rusted on the side right there, you can see that a little bit, but that actually kind of works to the look of the Steelbook. Love this movie, great disaster movie, and this has interior artwork in here as well. There you go. If anybody's interested, let me know because I do have the Blu-ray of this. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray steelbook of this. If there is, I need to pick it up. Now, next up is Guide to Recognizing Your Saints, which I haven't seen. Tanning Chatham right there. I guess an early Tanning, uh, Tanning Chatham movie, an early Shia LaBeouf movie. Chaz Palmateri, Robert Downey Jr. Looks cool. Uh, I guess he's going back to his old neighborhood and, you know, kind of the streets. Uh, this edition was so rare back in the day, and now I don't think it's worth uh, as much money. The Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest 10 edition. Just a pretty simple 10. Inside, you open up the 10, and it swings open, and it's just the two-disc special edition right here. Which I think the two-disc special edition is actually hard to come by for DVD. Over five hours of special features. But yeah, this 10 edition, just because it was in the 10, was super rare back in the day. I remember I, I paid, I want to say like 30 bucks for it, and at that time I thought it was a great deal because it was going for like double that, but now I think it's more easily uh, able to find for, for cheap too. And let's see, let's go ahead and show you one more item right here, uh, the Puppet Master set. Uh, this has been released so many different times, now they have it in the, the slim regular DVD case edition, but there you go. This was at the time all the Puppet Master movies up to date and uh, bonus feature disc too. So I still I had this on several different editions, so I kept this one still sealed for uh, you know just having display. But again, if anybody's interested, let me know. So there you go. Let me know what you think of these special editions and which was your favorite. If you're interested in anything, I, I wanted to get clear some space here. So uh, let me know if you'd be interested in buying any or trading for any. Uh, these were all DVD, I believe. So I'm really looking for Blu-ray mostly now at this point. But uh, let me know if, if for the trade-wise. But if you want to buy anything, let me know as well. Uh, the Legacy Mummy set and the ET set are kind of heavy, though. Uh, but yeah, again, other stuff, region, have to have a region-free player as well uh, for the ones that were from other countries. But I uh, hope everybody's doing well. And uh, if you've seen the movies, let me know what you think of them and which was your favorite edition out of all these two. Take care.